now today i'm going to talk about the spiritual egos now many people want to do sadhana in their life they want to have a guru and they feel they want to dedicate their life into the sadhana and they want to get enlightened in this lifetime itself they want to come out of the wheel of samsara itself now that is nothing wrong that is nothing wrong and today in this world there is information available about different different uh, schools and the different different theories across as a person now i had two encounters and i was quite shocked at the attitude and the approach now first of all let me make it very clear i am doing my own sadhana i do not take any kind of disciples unless and until they come in person and meet me across i am making it very clear i am not trying to run ashrams i am not i don't want to do this discourse part of it that is why i have put in the youtube whatever people want to listen they can listen whatever they want to interpret they can do i always trust two things practice is more important than the guru experience is more important than the guru now this has been my stand for a long period of time and i tell people let me share things with you that is all now somebody called me from makau and he wanted to learn about anganyasa and karanyasa and i was willing to share with him the knowledge and i also shared with him with the knowledge about it now immediately that man became very egoistic about it now what now what is wrong if somebody shares about anganyasa karanyasa like an idiot like a real spiritual idiot he said tell me the book where this anganyasa karanyasa is there i am telling him it is there is no book available this been my personal experience and i am sharing with you and he is telling me tell me the guru who will teach me that right in front of him i am giving the knowledge about it all these so called western people who come from america or from the different european countries don't want to listen don't want to listen they are very egoistic about everything in their life now when you are doing your spiritual sadhana you have to listen to people who are experienced and who try to share their knowledge now somebody called me about swara yoga and the guy got very very angry and very upset now why i mean i told him i bless you so that may you have swara siddhi immediately he is telling me i bless you may you have swara siddhi he has lost his marbles i am telling please check your swara and do you know whether this thing is going to happen he wanted to learn about tatvas and there is some software which is there and he is telling i am right now an arthu tatva then why are you getting so angry why are you getting upset want the interaction itself will tell you whether you are going to get your things manifested or no so please understand the first and the foremost folly of all these people is now you have to claim yourself to be enlightened you have to claim yourself to be avatar now this is all bullshit i have seen enough in across the globe many people claiming to be avatars and enlightened are not enlightened they have a huge following they have a massive following now you can't even reach them out you can't even talk any personal questions so please understand if you are going to do true sadhana you are not going to claim a lot of things the second thing is if you ask me question if it is relevant to your sadhana and i find it that it will be useful to your sadhana and if it is in my ambit of in my experience then i can answer it 
just because you ask me a question i have no obligation to answer you first of all i have not taken any consultation money from you and the second thing is your spiritual life is something very personal unless and until we have a discussion and all these people do not give me their names do not give me their age do not give me their photograph or horoscope they will just ask question and they will get bloody very angry not angry they will get very angry the guy from macau i was so shocked he said you are immature and you need to grow up in life to talk to me about this who now i just didn't understand he was following some bk iyengar yoga he was practicing some pranayama please understand something very very clearly you are you don't know many of the western people who are seeing the video i am telling you you have no idea about tantra shastra you are simply taken some uh, thing across and uh, i want to do the mantra that is not tantra shastra tantra is a very different subject now normally in tantra shastra you have a women as the guru the younger women as the guru that basic idea itself you people don't have you have the kumari in the nepali tradition why now why did they keep about it just because you are chanting few mantras it does not mean you are in alignment and you know what to do but now there is a guy who called up from some place and he said i'm having a kundalini awakening i said oh oh it's wonderful and some student of mine brought me across this she, she said so this guy is having a kundalini awakening i said he is having a blockage so please take some medical help because it is trying to open up the energy he has to go into massage he has to take some painkillers he has to do some yoga to help him to release the block now the guy got so offended now he said uh, he just didn't want to talk about it he said i want to combine the devata of lakshmi saraswati and durga now what is a mula mantra where is the scriptural authority because somebody has made a statue about it you want to go about it in the same way it is about linga bhairavi where is the scriptural authority what is the bija mantra what is the mula mantra what is the dhyana shloka i have no idea now these people i don't know whether they do sadhana i mean there there are times i question myself even after doing 8 to 10 hours of uh, chanting and prayer whether do I have i done the justice for my kind of sadhana across you have to come to the realization that you can balance the physical world the material world and the world of spirituality each will reflect each other that is why guru padma sambhava says ascend with the conduct and descend with the view so please understand just because you call up and you have some doubts it does not mean no it's not even doubt it's like ordering i have asked you so you have to answer the question i mean what do i know about you do i know something i am not here uh, this like this ravi shankar or these people who give discourse oh you ask me questions and i will answer you no if you are going to do sadhana if you are going to go to a world class coach the coach is going to ask you have you won medals have you uh, please show me your running what is your speedometer uh, what is the exercise you have done what is your experience so a good coach will ask you questions before he tries to help you across some guy called up and says i want to know about the tatvas and the action about it in the ida and the pingala nadi now there are there are of course 10 variations on that i could have answered him but i'm telling you even the swara sadhana you are not practice why you want to do about all this the guy lost his marbles now the mekau guy i was so shocked now he has no respect no respect because you call up and immediately i don't answer so please understand 
you will not be allowed to access me unless I meet you in person. I am not going to answer all these questions. These are all egos in the spiritual sadhana. You think you are a great sadhak. You are out there. You have a great destiny and you want to change the world and the humanity across. I have no issues about it. You have some gurus who act like buffoons who teach you about dancing and who says you please take a relax and take a deep breath I have no problem please follow them who is telling don't follow them because you do some yoga pranayama bhajans and read some book about Advaita it, or even visit Ramana Ashram across I am not going to be impressed with your spiritual skills I would ask you the first question how long have you meditated how long are you doing this practice across now if you are going to say I am going to practice Tantra the first thing I might even ask you is do you have a woman if you don't have a woman then how can you practice Tantra now somebody told me today I want to I want to practice Dasamaha Vidyas I told him in a subtle manner please do get married now the guy is telling I've had the vision of Durga across okay but how are you going to have Siddhi about it across so please understand that there are certain criteria for practicing Tantra which I would probably put it as a video and explain to you as a person so do not get carried away and don't think just because you are doing some chanting with the mala you have understood about tantra and you have only few doubts few inches after that i will go it is not like you're going to call me up and do the pump and dump strategy i am not here to be abused and i don't like abusing others okay so please understand that these things are very sacred and you need to meet somebody as a person now for example you take uh, the Justin Gatlin or uh, for example you are, you are running with uh, uh, probably one of the world-class athlete like uh, uh, Justin Gatlin or probably like Ed Moses or uh, probably uh, uh, all those people across or you're going to play cricket with Virat Kohli or you're going to play like uh, you're going to play uh, uh, football with Lionel Messi and all those people are they going to take questions because about some basic question which you do not have any knowledge about they would say please go play the game practice more that is how you will understand across these are stupid spiritual egos I have seen enough of this in Ramanashram I have seen enough of this they don't meditate they don't practice they simply loiter around they think if they get a visa for 15 years their life is made if they build a house their life is made like this they go on having it without understanding their spiritual life has not opened up you are not the chosen one you are not part of the team itself this is the same thing I have seen with lot of tambrams now I have nothing I have no inhibition in you telling whether you want to promote the Chandrasekhara Saraswati as the next icon and the next guru I have no issues about it but please when there is nothing happening now that day I saw on television I was so shocked simply one one cloth fell down so the guy the lady is telling oh the cloth fell down and there is something called periva peravai where nothing has happened they go on promoting 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 all lies all lies that great man used to say Bhagavan Ramana is my guru itself to a lot of people in fact the, when uh, somebody the western people went and asked he said Bhagavan Ramana is the true representation of Advaita I would rep I mean I would appreciate his simplicity his honesty his ability to do sadhana his mauna lot of things I appreciate but he was never enlightened itself now to say that to be boldly what is wrong in that I mean these kind of spiritual ego many people want to have guru by the age of 40 they want to be the next Vivekananda they want to be the next Yukteswar Giri they want to have a lineage they want to change the world believe me I have none of that thing across I have miles to go before I sleep and I have promises to keep 
and I am just sharing my wisdom which is there which is which is available across so please take it if you are going to take a consultation then it's a different story for astrology if you're going to bring your spiritual life across I would be a lot more stricter it's not about the money part of it I would definitely would like to talk to you genuinely and sincerely and guide you across as a person if you are not qualified if you are playing at the games at the very low level then i am not the teacher because i never play that role of a teacher i always look at another person i'm just sharing he is helping me to grow in inside and ultimately everything is an illusion it's just a wave it's just you'll forget it even what i spoke you forget it many things have been forgotten this is the core essence of advaita once you realize the impermanence of life somebody i was seeing in ramakrishna mart who say you know what is the meaning of maya maya means ignorance rubbish maya means you don't see the energy dimension of life you always see the form dimension of life that is the principal thing in the maya maya means you start seeing the energy dimension the hold of maya will go away as a person so please understand that everybody wants to wear a garuwa and i know somebody who was with nityananda who was a doctor he got married twice and divorced he used to wear the garuwa and he wants to bless people he wants uh, somebody came and told me and i want people to fall at my feet i feel that is a great fulfillment i don't want people to fall at my feet i'm very very clear because i feel i'll be taking a lot of bad karma of them because my legs are very sensitive so it's a whole different ball game to what we are playing we are playing the game sincerely so if you want please don't throw your ego around me and i am not the right person to take a lot of bullshit from these people you are money or you calling up from america or you are a white skinned person or you talk english in a in a, in a very uh, fast fashion is not going to work with that i would be very curious to know about your sadhana and you are structure of your life unless you have loving kindness is not going to work i would stress a practice i am not interested in any kind of theory and discourse in fact i tell people intercourse is better than discourse itself so please understand there is a lot of people who are half baked in the name of tantra and they think they want to drink and they want to smoke and they want to have a lot of sex around so that is the meaning of tantra tantra is not that the tantra is not definitely all these things i have seen lot of people becoming drug addicts i have sat with a gori and i have not had a single uh, chillum and the, there was a guy who says you know what is the greatest spiritual qualification i had a i had a ganja with uh, some sadhus across on the thing no i don't believe in that i mean so what if you have ganja do you have insight do you have wisdom do you have understanding do you have the perception which is very beyond the normal ordinary thing you have insight now if you don't have that what is the use of it so the point is these are the things i look forward these are just spiritual egos i have seen and i'm very tired of it so if you don't if you don't meet me in person and i am not willing to take your calls across please don't get offended about it there is nothing wrong there's a long way to go even before you talk uh, stop uh, uh, talking about it i am not for everybody because it's very very simple and i am busily doing the sadhana whatever spare time i have i'm just putting on the video because it will be useful to people plus i will get punya that is all as a reason nothing else beyond that i don't expect anything across so please don't throw your weight around and try to prove the point here after don't ask my number they will not give you in my office very very clearly across whatever it is send a mail and send in the whatsapp if it deem fit we will call you otherwise sorry guys you enjoy the spiritual journey see my videos enjoy it have a happy time take care of it but you are not going to be in touch with me because it's just waste of time if you are not going to do the sadhana and your sadhana anyway will get answered if it is sincere thank you so much